Are you having problems putting transitions and effects into your timeline? Well, stick around. I think we can fix that today. Now, once you've got an edit in your timeline and you're getting to the point where you're thinking about transitions like cross dissolves and other things like wipes, you might run into problems where the effect just doesn't go into the timeline and it can get really frustrating. So in this video, what we'll do is try to figure out where it goes wrong and what we can do to fix it. Now, have a look at my timeline right now. I've just got three simple clips. Again, my clips always come from pexels.com. Great place to go and find some free videos for your projects. I've got three clips here. I've got the clip of the highway over the river. I've got the flyover of the coast and I've got the traffic jam in London. And what we'll do is open up the effects library and we're going to go to a cross dissolve because that's really the effect I want to talk about today. But this equally applies to actually any effect on this list over here. So normally what you would do is pick up your cross dissolve like this, pick it up and we'll put it in the second transition there. And as you can see, I have a choice of whether to put it on the second clip, the first clip or equally on the first and second clip over here like that. If I let go, move the playhead over here, just press play. You can see that we've got a cross dissolve. Even better, if I just zoom in a little bit, I can actually edit the cross dissolve to be longer or shorter. So I have that much control over a cross dissolve and it works really well. So if I wanted to, I can make a ridiculously long cross dissolve like this and it would work perfectly. So here I've got no problems. I'll just undo that until it was back to normal like this. So there we can see the cross dissolve is working as intended without any problems. Now let's put a cross dissolve in our first cut. Pick it up. And as you can see, not only can I not put it down, it's not letting me even see what the cross dissolve will look like. I can't put it on the first clip. I can't put it on the second clip. Therefore, I can't put it on the clips at all. Now this is a problem. If I put my mouse in between the two clips in the cut itself, right click and just add a 30 frame cross dissolve, which I would do normally. Click on that and I'm now going to get a message from DaVinci. It says, and I'll read it, some of the clips selected have insufficient handles to apply the transition. Now it does give me a way out. It says you can choose to trim clips and shorten your timeline or skip the clips. So if I skip, nothing's going to happen and it will just forget that I wanted to put a cross dissolve. If I try that again, and this time go to trim clips, you can see quite clearly what it did there. It actually cut a little bit from this clip over here and a little bit from this clip over here to create the transition. And there's our clue as to why it didn't work. I'm just going to shut this effects library down here and I'm going to undo just so that we can understand actually what is going on. What is the problem? So I'm going to remove this transition over here as well. And what we're going to do is just take our mouse to the end of that clip. We're not going to shorten it or lengthen it, but instead we're just going to click on our mouse. And what you'll see on the screen is a white rectangle. Now in my previous videos, I told you that the white rectangle is showing you the original length of the clip you're using. So in the original clip of this traffic jam in London, there was a little bit after the clip and a little bit before the clip. In fact, I just used the middle of the clip. Now, if we go to our coast flyover and do the same thing, click with our mouse down, you can see that there's plenty of clip after my cut, but absolutely no frames available before. So that means when I use this flyover clip, I use the very first frame as the starting of this clip. And now let's go down to our motorway scene. And if I click on that, you can see that I have no frames after my cut. And that's actually what the problem is. When you put in a transition like a cross dissolve or a wipe or any other thing like this, what that effect is saying is I'm going to use some of the frames that you cut out to make the transition. So that means when I put it down here, and let's just zoom in a little bit here, that transition there is actually using a few frames of that video 12 that I cut out just so that it can overlap it with a few frames from this coast flyover so that the two mix together. In the case of this cut here, 
there are absolutely no frames before this and no frames after this clip. So when I pick up a cross dissolve and I put it down, there are no frames for it to grab. When I then go with my mouse, right click and add a cross dissolve, it says it will trim the clips. That means it will cut a little bit of that clip there and a little bit of that clip there and use what it cut out to overlap each other. So if I do that now, you can see that the clips moved a little bit and most of the time this should be okay, especially if like me, you're just putting random shots into a timeline. So if you've got B-roll, if you've got things that don't really matter if you cut them, then of course you can just go ahead and let DaVinci trim the clips as you want. But let's say you have some dialogue or some music or something that needs to be synced in your timeline. Well, now you've just created a problem because as soon as you let DaVinci trim your clips, your sound is now going to be out of sync with the rest of your timeline. So in order to solve this problem, you have to plan ahead a little bit. So let's just delete this and this, leaving our traffic there. And let's just go back, put in an in and an out. Now I'm doing this at random, so I'm not really thinking about it. Let me just do that again without the audio. That's pressing Option or Alt on your keyboard, like that. Let's go over to the Coast Fly of a Mark and In and an Out. I'm doing that with I and O on my keyboard, by the way. Pick that up and put it down like that. And just put that back there. Now when we go to our Effects Library, pick up a cross dissolve, you'll see that there's absolutely no problem. It will just put the transitions where you want them, do the overlaps for you without any problems. So what I'm trying to say is plan a little bit ahead, especially if you've planned your movie to have transitions. In this case, trying to fix your problems in the timeline might work and might not. It would be much better beforehand while you're filming your stuff to make sure that the camera is rolling for longer than you think it needs to, so you can grab a couple of extra frames at the start and at the end of your clips. So hopefully this video is going to help those of you who've had problems with transitions and effects in your timeline and couldn't figure out why. Hey guys, thanks for watching, really appreciate it. Think about clicking that like button, subscribe to the channel if you wanna keep up, and maybe think about hitting the bell notifications if you wanna be notified every time a new video comes up.